How's it going guys? Welcome back to Millionaires channel. Alright, so today I'm actually comparing the Cinco, is it Cinco? Yeah, Cinco G1A1 wireless uh, microphones to the Rode Wireless Go, which is the kind of go-to uh, microphones for this kind of uh, setup. So let's have a look what they're like. So I'm actually recording right now using the shotgun mic which is on my uh, SLR camera which you know you can just see kind of here uh, as you can see it's got the shotgun mic on it there. Now um, one thing I've, uh, quite a few people have said is because I'm shooting in here which is my kitchen it's got quite a lot of reverb the videos that I produce is because I've got a lot of hard surfaces in here tile floors and all that kind of stuff so the sound's just bouncing all around and that's why I've got the Rode Wireless Go uh, to try and uh, help uh, you know keep the uh, audio of my voice focused on the microphone so I'm just going to put this on now so you can see what this sounds like compared to my shotgun microphone which I'm using right now Alright guys now here is the Rode Wireless Go actually uh, hooked up to my shirt here now normally I would actually um, hide it you know in the shirt with I don't know a bit of like uh, tape or something like that so you can't actually see it but for the purposes of this video I'm going to keep on display so you can see how far away it is away from my mouth and hopefully the audio sounds a hell of a lot better than it did for my shotgun mic when um, it was just reverbing all around the place because now my voice is actually closer to the uh, the microphone now I've got the uh, boom on it as well the little dead kitten thing there and it is actually quite hard to put on the Rode Wireless Go. Maybe this will be a bit easier on the Cinco. Uh, but yeah, it was very fiddly and it kept popping off and it's not very secure. So if you're going to be doing walking or running, it might just fall off in the middle of this video. So we'll have a look there. Anyway, let's get back to the Cinco G1A1. Now, this is actually advertised as um, pretty much the exact same thing as the Wireless Go. So uh, you get a transmitter and receiver, very same setup as the Wireless Go, simple plug and play setup. They already come synced out the box and all that kind of stuff. But you do get a few little extra bits in here, which you don't get with the Rode Wireless Go. And considering this is about 60 pounds more, you know, that's quite a good bonus actually. So looking on the back of the uh, thing here, you can see the specs right there. So we've got the, um, again, 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission, got the RF frequency band, 2400-2483 megahertz. Working distance is claimed at about 40 to 70 meters. That'll depend on, you know, your current environment. You've also got the 12.5 millisecond latency. You've got the uh, pocket clip, very similar to the wireless go where you've got a clip that clips on. Um, and you've also got um, the uh, RF output power at 10 uh, milliwatts there and the wireless transmission again 2.4 gigahertz so all that kind of similar kind of spec there to the wireless go now let's uh, unbox the thing here so we can see exactly what we get in the box um, so you can get this on Amazon for about 99 pounds as well so it is 60 pounds cheaper so it'll be very interesting to see how it performs compared to the real wireless go um, so we've got the Cinco box here now this is actually really nice now the wireless go doesn't have a good box like this now you can see here just you get this nice little uh, neoprene pouch but it's nowhere near as good as that now that's actually a hard shell box so it won't look too out of place um, in your uh, you know your camera bag with all the rest of your hard shell kind of stuff very nice case much better than the roads um, you also get this uh, little manual here tell you how to um, set it up and all that kind of good stuff so that's nice to see that you get that um, and of course we'll open it up Yes, yeah, really nice case that actually. Now, when you get inside the box, um, you've actually got room for a third one here. So they sell this in a in a two uh, two pair set, like I've got here, or a three pair set of uh, a three uh, mic set, where basically you get two microphones and one transmitter, transmitter which is very cool. And um, for that, uh, for the price of that one. Um, you can actually get the road uh, for the same price so in the bonus here you get an additional microphone there for the same price as that or you can save 60 pounds and just go for the normal setup um, so that's a really cool, cool thing but the, the box is the same so you get the you've got room for the third one here if you want to buy it separately now let's have a look at the accessories you get here as well um, so got a bunch of little baggies there and you've got your two mics so we'll just take that all out <coughs> So here we actually have one of the, uh, what's this one? That's the actual microphone itself. Now it's very interesting because it's exactly the same setup as the Rode. You know, you've got your power on, you've got your mic in, you've got your uh, Type-C cable there, 
you know, uh, your, your reconnection, your reset, and you've also got your microphone built in there, just like the wireless go, and you've got your little clip there to have on, um, you know, your little dead kitten there. Um, so that's all there, and you also got your transmitter there. Um, again, same kind of setup, very familiar. Um, you've got the Type C, your power on, you've got your um, headphone and your out jack, your reset and resync buttons there, and you've got two little LEDs. Now, what you don't get, um, which you actually get on the Rode Wireless Go, is the screen, um, which is actually on top of the um, transmitter there, which gives you a little bit of uh, information there you know, on uh, your, your level and all that kind of stuff. So let me just flip to that and you can have a see what I mean. Yeah, so as you can see with the Rode Wireless Go, you actually get this little screen on top of the uh, transmitter, which tells you, you know, um, your levels and your brightness and, um, you know, your, what your wireless signal strength is like, how much battery you've got. So that's nice to see on the Rode, but you don't actually get that on the, uh, the Synco there. A lot of people say the way actually the Rode is designed is because it actually slots in right there, you can't actually see that wireless transmitter. So as you can see when it was on my camera there, um, it's flat. You can't see it when the camera's pointing at you. So you have to get a little adapter to turn it the right way up. But that's just something to bear in mind. Now, what else have we got here? Okay, so uh, one of my little uh, annoyances with the Rode Wireless Go is the fact that you don't get a cable, one cable that charges both of the devices at the same time. Now, with the Synco G1A1, you actually do get that. So you get a USB uh, power cable that splits off, using this little splitter here, into two uh, type C so you could just need one USB one cable and you can charge both of these at the same time from one USB port Now with the Rode Wireless Go you don't actually have that which is quite annoying because you actually have to use Two wireless cables and, and carry them around with you. I mean of course you could buy a split like this But why should you this this costs more than the Synco? Um, but uh, obviously you, the Synco has got a better solution there so that's one thing um, which the Synco has got a bonus on. Uh, let's have a look in here. What have we got? So here we actually have the, uh, so this is your 3.5 to 3.5 mil jack to connect the uh, uh, um, microphone to your uh, SLR camera there once you've actually got it plugged in. Um, it's a little bit longer than the Rode version um, and it's black as well, which is nice. The Rode one's red, which kind of stands out a bit. So if you want a more sleeker option, then there you go. And you also get a more traditional, um, you've got an L shape to a straight jack there as well. So, you know, depending on what your camera setup's like, you know, you've got a couple of options there. In here, you also have uh, a dead kitten, which is nice to see. So uh, let's see how this one fits into there. That'd be uh, good to see because the uh, road ones are pain in the arse to kind of uh, get on. So let's have a look. So uh, same, same, same kind of clips, but you know what? It probably goes on a bit easier than the road version because the road one you've got really tiny little teeth on there and they're not very long so that it's quite hard to fit on but you know that's that's quite good actually that and it's not kind of flicking off dead easy whereas the road one kind of does so that's cool nice little dead kit in there and what we got here this little plastic packet so we got a little uh, so this is a little lapel kind of a grabby crocodile clip that you get there as well. Um, so you got that to kind of grab it to your shirt, but that's interesting because what you get in here as well is a lavalier mic um, with it as well, which is another great bonus because the uh, wireless Go um, doesn't actually have that. So the Synco actually comes with a lavalier mic. That so if you want it, if you didn't want to set up like this, you know you could get your little thing. You could put it on your jeans like that there. You could grab this lavalier mic, plug it into the out um, right there, and of course, go underneath your shirt and plug that in. Whereas with the wireless go, they don't actually give you a lavalier mic. It does have the option for it, don't get me wrong, you can plug a lavalier mic uh, into it, but you have to buy it separately. Whereas the uh, Synco G1A1 actually comes with one in the box, which is another great feature as well. Now, uh, now I've already got these two things charged up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, plug them in uh, like I've got here, exactly the same setup as it is on the camera with my Rode, and you can see what the kind of audio sounds like uh, compared to the Rode. All right, so here's the actual Synco here um, with the uh, kitten on there. As you can see, there's a little uh, LED light which you can um, 
uh, see when it's actually on and paired, it'll uh, stay solid. And of course, you've got the little kit in there. So I'm just going to attach this to my um, uh, collar and we can see what it sounds like. All right, guys, so now it's actually on my um, collar here. It's the exact same position as the Rode Wireless Go. So let me know what you guys think about how it actually sounds in the comments below. Um, but this is a quick sound test to see what it sounds like. Now, I'll show you what it looks like on the camera itself. So as you can see, it goes on the exact same way as the Rode with the uh, clip here. Um, just underneath there, it just kind of clips on in the same position um, and you've got your uh, access to your button, so that's the gain control, the repair, the reset, you know, the same cable situation going on there and you've got your power button and the microphone out. Um, so that's uh, good to see there. But uh, this kitten, um, I'm a bit more impressed with in terms of the way it put it sticks on. It's not quite as thick as the road ones, and the road you actually get two kittens with it, so you have a spare because you are probably inevitably going to lose one because they fall off so easily. Um, but um, you know, it's it's all right. It's, it's uh, you know, it's enough to you know get the pops out of the um, the sound and all that kind of stuff. So I actually am going to go outside and do like a range test between these two microphones and see how they sound better in an outdoor environment instead of inside here um, where you're going to get a lot of reverb around the kind of room. Alright, so here I am, um, about to go outside into my garden now. So, so far I'm actually about, say about three meters away from the receiver and I'm still indoors. So let's go outside, now, all the way from here to the fence, we're probably talking about, probably about 10 to 15, probably about 15 meters altogether. And um, once I get to the back fence. So first of all, I'm going to uh, open the door and then uh, I'm going to go all the way to outside to the fence and um, with the door open. So it's got a direct line of sight to the camera. So here I am. And I just mowed this lawn yesterday. So hopefully I won't kind of ruin it. Um, but it's not very windy today. You can still see me. Hopefully you'll be able to still hear me. Uh, and it sounds, uh, well, I don't know why it sounds like it's a look at it, but uh, let me know what you think. And I'm just going to go back and I'm actually going to um, uh, close the door. Now, there are some kids um, playing outside as well. So it'll be interesting to see if the um, uh, uh, picks it up. I'm going to go. Hear me? Hopefully you can. Um, but yeah, I uh, wonder if the, uh, cam uh, the microphone picks up the uh, kids out there. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, that's about it really. So I'm going to try the same thing with the Rode Wireless Go and you can compare them both. Alright, so here I am again, uh, same as that setup, but this time I've got the Rode Wireless Go uh, on my collar instead of the Synco G1A1. So same test again, I'm going to go outside straight to the fence. All right, so here we are, and I'm walking. You can still see me. Hopefully, the um, uh, audio is still working fine. Again, like I said, it's not very windy here at all. Um, it's dull and grim, but that's England for you. Um, but uh, I'm just going to go back now, um, and then I'm going to close the door and test it again. Can't hear any kids at the minute. Um, but now the door's closed and um, let's see if it still works. Let's have a look. So here I am right at the back with the door closed so we've got an obstruction in the way. Now typically I don't expect um, many people who buy it to actually be walking dead far away from the camera. Um, but uh, you know, it's just a good to know if you kind of are using it or something in that scenario. Maybe you set the camera up and you're going off and film yourself. I don't know, do do something while audio, I don't know, BMXing or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that was the Rode Wireless Go in the same situation. Now, I'm just going to listen back these tracks and see what it kind of sounds like to myself and come up with my conclusion. So I've just had a listen to the track playbacks and what I've also done is I thought I'd do a clip of it on its lowest gain. Now I was finding that the um, highest, uh, the, the microphone um, on both of them actually uh, picked up a bit more background noise when I had um, uh, on its stock settings. So I've reduced the gain 
um, on it and we we're going to see what it sounds like now. So this is actually the Synco G1A1 um, on its lowest gain setting. Now being so close to my mouth, um, maybe it may make it better, but it's not going quite into the red as much as it did before, which it did when I looked back at the um, video that it was actually peaking a lot. Um, now, I've, as you notice, I haven't got the um, boom mic on as well, uh, the uh, dead kitten thing, sorry, uh, to see what it uh, sounds like. So I'm going to compare it and we'll switch over to the Rode now and see what that sounds like with the slowest gain setting. All right, guys, so now I've got the Rode Wireless Go uh, connected up with the um, gain set to low. And now we can obviously compare it to the previous Synco to see what it sounds like, you know, uh, in comparison to that. Um, now, there's one thing that I have noticed as well, which is a bad point about the Rode Wireless Go in comparison to the Synco, is it's quite susceptible for um, like a bit of a frequency hiss, like interference. So um, if you have a listen, I'm just going to stop talking. If you have it, but I have to listen closely and turn the volume up maybe, and you'll hear like a little buzzing sound. And it sounds like a little interference, like -de 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 a little bit of a weird hissing, buzzing sound with the Rode Wireless Go. But I never actually found that with the Synco, and apparently it's meant to be because of um, uh, Wi-Fi interference and stuff like that. So I've had to turn my phone on aeroplane mode to try and get rid of it, but I can still hear it in the background, and it's quite annoying, really. I don't know if I've got a faulty unit because um, uh, it's a bit of a shame. Um, but that's just something to uh, bear in mind that and I've googled it and quite a few people have had that issue so um, you might want to consider that um, with the road because the Synco didn't actually have any of that Wi-Fi interference that I could notice um, so that's one thing to bear in mind but anyway um, looking at the um, previous videos um, uh, of when I went outside now what uh, two things were clear obviously the Synco kind of struggled a bit with its connection strength as I was moving um, outside further away from the um, uh, transmitter and the camera. Um, and especially when the door was closed, it kind of struggled a bit more there. Um, so that's one thing that did happen. The road didn't really have that problem. I could still kind of move um, in and out the house, close the door, and the connection strength stayed you know, spot on um, and never actually lost connection. So um, if the signal strength is important to you, then you might want to go for the road. Um, whereas the uh, Synco, um, it didn't quite have that. Um, however, both of them, the audio quality kind of stayed there. You know, um, you both, you could hear what I was saying both uh, with me. Um, when I was stationary, the Synco uh, managed to keep the uh, voice uh, signal strength kind of all right. You could still hear what I was saying. Um, it wasn't breaking up too much. Um, but that's just something to bear in mind. Now, uh, wrapping it up, which one should you kind of go for? Well, that will kind of depend on what you're using it for, really. Because if you were um, uh, recording yourself outside and you were on a BMX or you're moving around or you're going to be far away from the camera, then I'd probably say you have to go for the road, simply because the signal strength is better than the Synco. Um, however, the road costs 160 pounds and the Synco costs 99 pounds for the basic kit. Um, but for 149 pounds, so only 50 pounds extra and still 10 pounds less than the road, you can get the triple set and there you get two microphones um, as well as obviously the um, transmitter, which means you can, you've got a great setup there to have as an interviewing kind of a solution. So say if you want to interview someone, you put a microphone on yourself, a microphone on, on the person you're interviewing, and obviously a transmitter on your camera, and you're good to go. Whereas with the Rode, because you only get one microphone with it, and it's 60 pounds more, you're gonna have to spend another, you know, 160 pounds to get the same solution. So you're looking at upwards 320 pounds then for the Rode setup. Um, and for that kind of thing, where you're not gonna be far away from the camera, and you know, uh, then it, it might not be necessary for you, so it's a bit pointless. So in that respect, I'd go for the Synco because you are getting a cheaper option and you're getting more accessories and you're getting two microphones with it. It might be a no-brainer for you. Um, I mean, uh, quality-wise, you know, when you're uh, quite close to the camera, 
it's nearly on par with the road uh, with the with the with the road um it, i mean it picks up a bit more background noise but you're best off just lowering your gain on your and your camera settings as well to kind of alleviate that um so uh, you know it depends on what you're kind of using it for so um that's my kind of a conclusion really if you're if you're looking for range and signal strength then you're better off going for the road if you want something that you um is cheap and it's easy comes with more accessories you've got the lavalier kit you've got the better carrier case it's an all-in-one solution because for 150 pounds you can get the two microphones and the transmitter then you want to go for the synco because it's a better solution for maybe an indoor environment where you're you know, trying to interview someone and you don't want to have a mic you know in your hand going between them between each other then that would be a better option there um but yeah let me know what you think of both solutions um another thing to bear in mind is the sinko has got a five hour battery life the road's got the seven hours is what they're claiming i'm not testing the battery app uh, uh, battery life quite um in depth like that um and but the sinko is actually more lightweight than the road so it doesn't kind of like flop around on your cloth on your shirt when you've got it on so that's another thing to bear in mind um but yeah any other questions uh, let me know in the comments what you think um if there's a particular one that you prefer just have a look at the clips let me know what you think of the clips and i'll try and help you out as best as i can if you want to buy the Cinco, have a look in the links in my description take you straight there um and please don't forget to subscribe it really helps me out thank you very much